Okay, what's up everybody? What's up, what's up, what's up? How is everyone doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome to today's gameplay stream. Apologies if you were sitting in the stream chat for a couple minutes there and were not voiced. Uh, there are no mods here yet. And therefore, because there are no mods here. Unfortunately, I was not able to have uh, people voice while I was using the restroom. <laughs> but now I'm back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I am back and we are ready to start today's gameplay stream. Hopefully you are ready. It's the return of Dark Souls 3, everyone. After a few days away... For a few other distractions, right? We had some Street Fighter V going on. We had the conclusion of Ratchet and Clank. We had some Call of Duty. And that's all well and good. But I think it is now time for us to wrap up with the Dark Souls 3 stuff, right? So, FYI, I'm not 100% sure how much longer we have in the game, okay? From what people have been telling me who've seen the entire game or played the entire game themselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're saying kind of maybe two to three more sessions left here. Um, but that it might actually be shorter or it could be longer. It all depends on how long it takes me to get through this stuff. Apparently there's some pretty incredibly difficult stuff coming up. So I guess we'll see. Um, you know, we're at the end game. So this is going to be reportedly the most difficult stuff in the entirety of the game. Um... <clears throat> So we'll see what happens. Now, let's uh, let's talk a little bit here, everyone, because today's stream is going to be a little different than usual. All right? Here's the deal. Here is the deal. So as you know, actually, I didn't even plug my headphones in yet, so I'll have to fix that before we start. Uh, as you know, if you've been following the playthrough, I've been having some problems with some of the bosses. All right? And... I've been stuck. There was one boss I was stuck on for about two hours. There's another boss I was stuck on for about another two and a half hours. And yes, it has a lot to do with me not being great at the game and not being able to adapt to boss patterns or whatever, okay? But I said, there's got to be something up. There's got to be something I'm missing here. Yes, I know that I'm not parrying, which is a game mechanic, but there's got to be something else going on. I got to figure this out, okay? So I did some research. Did some research, and here's what I found. Okay, two things. Number one, I found out that the weapon that I've been using, which is this Irithyll sword. Irithyll, I forget exactly what the, the, the name of it is, but it's supposed to be a frost effect sword. Is probably one of the worst swords in the entire game to be using. Isn't that nice? <laughs> and I've been using it the entire playthrough. So allow me to explain. The Irithyll sword that I'm using has a frost effect. If you don't know, what Frost does, it's supposed to slow an enemy and sl and also uh, slow down their stamina recovery after repeated hits. Uh, there's a small problem. doesn't work on fucking enemies in the game. It only works for PvP, from what I'm to understand. <clears throat> so I've been using this weapon the entirety of the game. Not one enemy has ever gotten the Frost effect on them. Apparently it's only for PvP. But, of course, you in the game, you can get frosted. Oh, of course. You know, the enemies can hit you and freeze your ass, but you can't freeze them. So the weapon I'm using is shit. One of the worst, one of the absolute worst things that I could have used in the entire game. And I've used it for most of the game. Isn't that nice? So, I'm like, this is ridiculous. You know, after doing this research, I'm like, it fucking figures, right? That the one sword that I would have grabbed and the one sword that I liked and the one that I used is one of the worst in the game. And that's what's fucking me up. That's why it's taking so long for me to kill bosses. I've actually found out that most people who, who uh, fought the bosses that I had problems with were dealing twice as much damage as I was. So just think about this. Those bosses would have went down incredibly quickly incredibly quickly if I had freaking had a better weapon. So I've basically kind of fucked myself, nerfed myself by choosing the weapon that I chose. Now keep in mind, I started playing Dark Souls 3 last month. I started playing it the next to last week of March. In fact, this week in particular marks the one month anniversary that I've been playing Dark Souls 3. So 
I didn't have any input. There was no data on the weapons. No one knew anything about the game yet when I was playing it. So there was no way to know <clears throat> that that was the problem. There was no way to know that this weapon sucked. Okay? Now we know. But, you know, that's kind of... that's. I fully, I fully accept the responsibility. I chose to play the game early, right? I chose to get it off the Japanese Xbox Live Store. And so I, I took the plunge, I bit the bullet, and, you know, it is what it is. Can't go back, can't change time now, you know what I mean? Alright. So, here's the deal. After all of this playthrough, almost done with the game, I've, I'm, I've had it. I've had it with this fucking sword. Because everyone who's playing the game apparently is getting these nice weapons with, you know, they're infusing them with these nice gems and putting effects on them. They're scaling nicely with all the magic effects and shit. And my sword doesn't do jack diddly dick. <clears throat> so, I, I kind of said it, decided for myself the other day when I looked this up, I said, fuck this. I'm getting a new weapon next time I play. That's it. I'm just fucking, I'm laying down the law. I'm getting a new weapon. Enough with this bullshit. Okay. So then, ladies and gents, then I started doing research, and it was funny because the other day, well, actually, I'll take it back, it was about a week ago, uh, you know, a viewer of mine was posting up on the forums uh, on thekingofhate.com about his playthrough, his run of the game, and he's like, yeah, man, your, your sword's way underpowered, I got this weapon, and I'm, doing, I'm dealing like four to five hundred damage a hit to the bosses that you're only dealing like a hundred damage, and I'm like, that doesn't sound right, is it a great sword? He goes, oh, no. No, it's a short. It's a shorter sword. I'm like, what? How are you dealing that much fucking damage with a shorter sword? So I start looking into it. He tells me, he tells me what the sword is. I look it up on the Dark Souls Three wiki. Here's what I found out. It's the most overpowered sword in the fucking game. It's incredibly overpowered. There's no reason the, the sword should be as good as it is. And pretty much everyone who's been playing this game has gotten this sword because it's called the Dark Sword. It's the sword that the Dark Wraiths in the game use. And they randomly drop it. Now, it's not a rare drop. It's just a random drop. So there's some people playing the game have never seen this sword before because just by bad luck, the Dark Wraiths never dropped it. So they didn't even know it was possible to get the sword. Other people, the first Dark Wraith they ever fought dropped the fucking sword. They kept the sword for the entire game and they steamrolled the fucking game. I'm not even kidding you. Like... <laughs> They steamroll. This this sword just destroys every boss in the fucking game, apparently. Like, it just does insanity damage compared to any other weapon. And why the fuck that's in the game like that, I have no idea. And I, you know, definitely for for the fact that it's fast, that's the other thing. It's one thing if your sword does a lot of damage, because people are like, oh, it's not the most powerful sword in the game. No, it's not. But it's a quick sword. It's a one-handed fast sword that deals the same damage as a great sword. Oh, and by the way, it also has the weapon skills of a great sword. So basically, they gave all the assets of a great sword damage and poise, and, you know, and combined it with a fast speed. Gee, I wonder why it's fucking overpowered. Seriously, I wonder why. <laughs> so. I mean, let's be honest here. Let's be absolutely honest here. Just because you 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 get a good weapon in a Dark Souls game, it doesn't mean that you're gonna be you're gonna beat the game easily. But it sure does go a long way when you're in a tough boss fight like some of the ones that I've been doing. Right? If I were dealing three to four times as much fucking damage, those boss fights would have been over after three or four attempts. If you actually remember, now the boss that I've had the most problem with was uh, well, Commander uh, or excuse me, Champion Gundir, right? If you remember the first fucking time I fought him, I got to the end of the fight. He, he only had like a quarter health left, and that's when I died. If I had had this sword, I would have fucking beat him on like the second try. Instead of wasting two and a half hours on this fucking asshole. <clears throat> so there you go. Ridiculous. And it is sad that unfortunately they put this fucking weapon in the game like that. I think that they obviously... You should be paying they should be paying attention to what the fuck they're doing. Why would you make a quick sword that has the the, the properties of a fucking great sword including damage output? Makes no sense. Really dumb. But it is what it is. More than likely they're going to end up patching the sword and make it shit or they're just going to patch it out of the fucking game. That's usually what From Software does when they find out these abusable things. And by the way, if you don't believe me, all you got to do is check the internet. It's all over. There's articles about it. On fucking websites, there's and the, the Dark Souls 3 wiki, everyone's like, it was hilarious. One of the comments for this sword on the Dark Souls 3 wiki is, 
Every time I, I go PvP, 9 out of 10 people I fight have this fucking sword. They just spam the fucking light attack non-stop because you can do it like 8 to 10 times in a row without running out of stamina. And it does this, the damage of a great sword with every hit. So, you're pretty fucked. Pretty, uh, no, uh, pretty s silly and stupid. Pretty silly and stupid. But anyway, I digress. So I might want to check this sword out. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm going to definitely use this sword. Um, I think it is kind of unfair. From what I've heard about this sword, it's pretty fucking unfair how good it is. And being that I basically had a sword that was shit for the whole game, you know, um, <laughs> it would definitely make the game incredibly easy for me in regards to at least damage output, right? Um, I don't know. I think I, I think I want to make the sword. Let me put it that way. I think I want to get it. I want to farm it. And I want to I want to upgrade it. Oh, that's the other thing, by the way. Guess what? The Dark Sword only uses regular fucking Titanite to upgrade. It doesn't even need rare Titanite. Regular Titanite. So, not only is it incredibly overpowered, you can also upgrade it easily throughout the course of the game. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Unbelievable. <clears throat> okay. So anyway. Today, when we start the stream, the reason it'll be different from other Dark Souls 3 streams is that the goal today is to find another weapon for me. Now, I don't know if it's going to end up being a great sword. I don't know if it's going to end up being a light. I definitely think I want to mess with the Dark Sword. Alright? But I don't think I, I don't know if I'm going to use it. I want to see. I want to see how overpowered it actually is. Uh, someone recommended to me the Lothric Sword. They said the Lothric Sword is basically also a one-handed sword, just like the Dark Sword. Um, but it doesn't have, like, OP stats. It's good, it has a good attack, and you can infuse it to make it even better. But it's not super OP, but it still scales pretty well. And it might be something I want to look at. And I think I have the, the Lothric Sword as well. You know? So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But that's how we're going to start today's stream. Finding me a new weapon to finish the game. Then once I have the new weapon, alright, then we'll, we'll partake in... Uh, what's going to be my attempt to finish up the Onion Knight quest. If you tuned into my last gameplay stream of Dark Souls 3, you'll know that I actually went through some of the steps of the Onion Knight quest to save him. And I believe that I did, but what I need to do is see if that quest completed. Now, of course, I didn't know how the quest worked, so I didn't couldn't do it last time. But I got more information now, and I'd like to see if the Onion Knight survived and if the quest completes. I don't know if you get anything for it. I don't know if you get, like an armor set or an achievement, but I do know that it's pretty cool that there are these NPC quests, and being that I skipped 95% of them, I think that I should at least try to complete one during my playthrough. So I definitely would like to do that. That shouldn't take too long, by the way. That should be a quick one. <clears throat> and then, finally, after that, then I will be going back to Arch Dragon Peak and trying to tear the fucking place up uh, and, and finish up this secret area. For what I've heard this, here, this area is incredibly difficult. Like, the most difficult area of the game by far. Ridiculous amounts of enemies, traps, you know, er the bosses are overpowered, everything's bad, so... It could be fun. It could seriously be fun. Let us see what happens today, okay? I'm excited to return to Dark Souls 3, I hope that you are too, alright? So, let me, uh, explain to you how the rest of this week is going to work. So that you know. Uh, right now we're going to be doing about three to three and a half hours of Dark Souls 3 gameplay on the stream. Tonight, I'll be doing a reactions video. It's going to be basically my impressions and my kind of mini review of the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Eclipse DLC pack, which I played yesterday. I did a cooperative playthrough of it with my friends uh, Nestor and Chris. And actually, a, a very long-time viewer, Hazard, joined us unexpectedly because we couldn't get our fourth co-op member, P-Dog, to, uh, to be able to do it with us, unfortunately. So Hazard joined us, and it was a lot of fun. This map was, you know, this Zombies map we did was really good. We played for about three hours, and the bottom line is, you may not believe this. You may not believe this. We did so well on this map. I actually didn't suck, which I usually do. We did so well that we didn't even get to complete a second attempt because we got to, like, round 28. And I ran out of time. I couldn't play anymore. <laughs> we, it was like a two-hour run. 
and we had done so well, I couldn't even... So then we just committed, like, suicide and finished it, which was kind of funny. <clears throat> so, that was, uh, that was fun, and I hope you will check out that playthrough. But anyway, I'm going to be talking about that and some of the multiplayer maps tonight in this kind of mini-review of the Eclipse DLC over on KO Gaming, which is at youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming. <clears throat> Excuse me, youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1. You have to put the 1 in or else it will not work. You'll get an error. <laughs> yeah, YouTube would not allow me to have the freaking KO Gaming name for whatever reason. <clears throat> I have absolutely no idea why. Um, so yeah, so that'll be tonight. Tomorrow, there will be more Dark Souls 3 here on the stream. Yes, absolutely. Tomorrow will be more Dark Souls 3. On my gameplay stream. Uh, tomorrow night, I'm going to kind of leave open. Alright? I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing tomorrow night. It could be a, a vlog about something. It could be uh, a reaction video to something. It's like a, a, a trailer or something. I don't know. I want to leave it open because... I like the flexibility of having, having that open time. Alright? I could end up just doing something behind the scenes of the business. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But tomorrow night, I'm not sure. It just won't be... It's not going to be like a gameplay stream or anything like that. Unless something weird happens. If something releases out of the blue. Okay? Um, Friday. Friday is the release of Star Fox Zero. The new Star Fox game. Yeah, if you can believe it. In, uh... <laughs> here in 2016, we're getting a new Star Fox game. It took them a long time, but there's finally one coming out. <clears throat> so that's going to be Friday. I'll be playing that. And uh, that should be interesting. That'll be all day Friday. I'm, my stream Friday is going to be a little delayed. I explained this full thing in the week in preview, so I'm not going to go through it. Basically, my stream is up in the air when it's going to start. But I am going to be doing two stream sessions of Star Fox on Friday. All right. Uh, Saturday. Saturday, more than likely, will be more Dark Souls 3, and quite honestly, it may be the conclusion of Dark Souls 3. It all depends on how long it takes me to get through these final areas, okay? So I don't know. It could, it could be the conclusion, it might not be. It all depends on how, uh, how I do. So we'll see, depending on gameplay uh, <coughs> advancement here today and tomorrow, you know, how much further I'll be playing, okay? And then Sunday, probably more Star Fox. Uh, Monday, Monday and all of next week is going to be pretty crazy because let me, uh, just listen, just listen to this lineup for next week. It's going to blow you away. All right, just listen. Here we go. Gears of War 4 beta, The Walking Dead Michonne episode 3, which is the final episode, Hitman episode 2, Guile in Street Fighter 5, Ask the King, and a marathon of Blizzard, which looks like it's going to be World of Warcraft. That's next week. Holy fucking shit. That is a crazy week. That is just an insane week. Like, just think every day is going to be something completely different. Something fun. Something, you know, fresh. I know that a lot of times when I do these longer, ongoing playthroughs, people get kind of burnt out, you know? They're like, oh, you know, again, this, this, we're, he's playing this again today. You know, I, you know, not that it's a bad game, but you get tired of the same thing every single day. Next week, no one's going to have any reason to complain. <laughs> because that is going to be wild. I can't wait for next week. I love it when you have a week like that, that there's so much going on, that every single day is going to be something fresh and different. That's cool. So I certainly hope that you will join me next week. For all of that. And of course, keep in mind, if I do end up finishing uh, Dark Souls 3, I have to review it. So that's going to happen at some point. I don't know if it'll be over the weekend or early next week. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. I hope you are too. This week should be great. This, this, this rest of this week and the coming week should be really good. Really, really good. All right. Well, everyone, that's pretty much it for my pre-stream. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just very quickly go through my gratuitous plugs segment, and then we will begin, okay? No super extended pre-stream today. 
Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you personally for being here today. Oh my god, someone, someone, wow, someone rated Star Fox Zero and said it's the Star Fox game that you wanted in 2002. Great, I'm really looking forward to it now. Alright, anyway, anyway. I'd like to personally thank you for being here live on today's stream, and I hope that uh, you enjoy today's stream. If you do, if you like these daily, uh, you know, streams here on YouTube, if you like my on-demand videos on YouTube and my vlogging and my reviews and everything that I'm doing this year, there's several ways that you can help support my business and allow me to do this in the long term and full-time in the future. Number one, obviously to watch the videos and also to spread the word. If you like the stuff that I'm doing, spread the word so other people will check it out too. Okay, number two, there's social media on Twitter. I'm at they call me DSP or twitter.com forward slash uh, they call me DSP on Instagram. I also am they call me DSP and I do tie those together. <clears throat> Excuse me. The bottom line is this. Every single day on social media, I put an updated schedule so you know what to expect the next day. Every day I'm commenting on different things, like what I'll be doing that day and how things went and letting you know what's uploading when and letting you know about other things that I'm doing. For example, last night I was tweeting about a few different television shows that I was watching, giving my thoughts on it. When I watch wrestling, I'll comment on what's going on in wrestling and stuff like that. So it's a good place to be in the know about me and what I'm up to and my, my personal thoughts about stuff as well. But I'll... Also, excuse me, keep in mind, keep in mind it's not uh, the, uh, a situation where I spam it constantly. Like, I know some people have to post like 400 tweets a day. I'm not like that, okay? So check it out, and if you do enjoy the social media stuff, please consider retweeting and, and uh, liking my tweets because the bottom line is the more people who interact, the more reach that I have on social media, the better it is for me and my business. It's a very key part of of success in business to, in this day and age, social media integration. All right. Now, another way you can help is if you live in the United States and you shop on Amazon.com, if you check any of the descriptions of my streams or on-demand videos on YouTube, you will find a link to my Amazon associate account. If you click that link and then you shop as usual, uh, it helps me out. So please consider doing that if you already shop on Amazon, sorry to the international viewers, it only works in the United States right now, okay? Um, also, there's Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. This is the more direct way that you can help me. Uh, you know, a lot of people say, ask me, gee, why don't you just accept donations? And my answer is because, you know, even though, yeah, I definitely appreciate any kind of financial assistance, I'd rather have it in an arrangement where you get something for it rather than you're just throwing money at me. And also the bottom line is, uh, for tax purposes, to put stuff like that through another business, it allows it to become fully traceable, taxable income. It doesn't make my taxes a nightmare, basically. So that's why I use Patreon. Now, if you pledge to my Patreon, uh, your monthly pledge can earn you personal perks, like getting premium forum access and voting on events. In fact, right now, the patrons are voting on this upcoming Blizzard Marathon that's going to take place next week, which looks like right now it's probably going to be World of Warcraft. In addition, you can also get text and verbal thank yous and videos. You can get a private Q&A video made. In fact, I just received questions for a private Q&A video that I'll be shooting this weekend. People who did that done that perk really love it. And also, you can get your questions answered for sure on my monthly Q&A show, Ask the King, which is taking place next week. So, lots of cool perks. In addition, you contribute to monthly goals. And if we hit monthly funding levels, the goals will take place. This month's goal, if we hit a funding level, is the return of the Indie Marathon. An event where patrons will be able to nominate and vote on indie games to, that they want to see me play in this marathon. Okay? And I love it. I've done this, I did it, I think, three or four times last year. And every single time was an absolute blast. People loved it. And I can't wait for another one. So, hopefully we hit the goal. Please go ahead. And, uh... Please go ahead and check it out. Patreon.com forward slash DarksidePhil. Right now there's 10 days left in the month to pledge and get in on this month's perks and get in on this month's goal. So please consider doing it, especially if you watch my stuff daily. It's your source of entertainment. You love it and you want to see me keep doing it. That's the way that you can contribute. All right? 
And then last but not least, my girlfriend Leanna has her own business. It's called The Black Current. She sells handmade glycerin soaps and wax tart melts. Her soaps are higher quality than the stuff that you would buy normally in the stores. Because they're actually glycerin-based soaps that are good for your skin. A lot of the stuff you may buy in your local store is called a detergent bar, not a soap. Because it doesn't have the ingredients to even be called a soap. That's why it's so cheap. <laughs> Her stuff has very high quality ingredients. Great scents. She just launched a spring line of product including scents like ginger ale and Moroccan mint. I love Moroccan mint, man. And ginger ale smells good too. I just, I'm not a huge fan of ginger ale in particular. But I love Moroccan mint. That's one that I actually use personally. Um... In addition, she sells these wax tart melts, which are little wax cubes that you can melt in a melter. It makes your house smell good, and it's a safe alternative to, say, a scented candle, which is obviously a flame hazard or if you have pets and you're worried. This is a better way to do it. And by the way, it lasts longer because you can reuse these wax cubes tons of times. So check out the business. You can find it at Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current spelled C-U-R-R-A-N-T. In fact... Uh, one of my mods here in the stream chat has already posted a link up. So if you're one of the people in the stream chat, you can check it out yourself. In fact, right now, she's working on the summer line of product. Very shortly, we're going to be sitting down and deciding what her new scents will be for the summer. And she just made a new batch of Kentish Rain Soap because it sold so well. I think she only has one bar left and she's afraid it's going to sell out. She's only had this up for sale for about a month. And it already sold out the whole batch. That's how popular Kentish Rain was. It's kind of... It, it, Kentish Rain is very similar to, say, Irish Spring or uh, Zest. Kind of smells like both of those. And I love it. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I, I asked her, actually, to make me a bar when she made it. Because I love that one. And I want I want, That's the one I want to wash with. So. <clears throat> Alright, everyone. So there you have it. There are the gratuitous plugs... For the stream, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate your being here. And we're going to start in a moment. If I'm, you know, webcam, everything's going to get turned on here. Death count. And we're going to begin. Three and a half hours of Dark Souls 3. With a new weapon. I just have to see what weapon I want to use, okay? Alright. That's it, everyone. Thanks for, for being here. And let us begin. Mm.